Did you know that the top selling digital item on Etsy happens to be digital planners? With endless possibilities for customization, you can design and sell various types of digital planners on Etsy, potentially earning substantial profits. In this video tutorial, I'll guide you through the process of creating one for yourself. So whether you want to sell it online or you just want to use it for yourself, it's a good thing to know. Also, we're going to be using something that is called hyperlinks, and this just makes it easier for people to go over to any page they'd like. So let's just start. Just as a side note, you can use these on Notability, on Good Notes as well. But the first thing that I recommend you do is that you go over to Etsy and do some research. Just go and see what other people are doing, how they're creating theirs. You can get some ideas for yourself. You can get some inspiration. But you got to know that digital planners are popular. Even monthly planners weekly planners, whatever you want to make, well, there's certainly an interest for it. So what do you want to do? Head over to canva.com and just type in planner. Down there, you will find this one, which is eight and a half by 11 inches. Click on it. And then firstly, Canva is, of course, going to give you a lot of these templates. You can use these, but you don't have to. What I like to do, I just like to go over and create a blank planner. Now, just to make sure you got this. You can just type in digital planners or you can just type in planners. You know, honestly, I use these templates for the interior because people already done the work. But when creating these hyperlinks, well, that's a thing that not a lot of people are doing. So we'll start with a blank planner here. OK, so let's firstly design the cover. Go over to elements and then just search through these elements and head over to the graphics section. Now, as I've told you, pick a niche for yourself, or maybe you just like flowers, maybe you just like pets, whatever you like, you can just put onto that cover. Or if you plan on to sell these, go and see what people purchase the most, right? Usually it's going to be the flowers things. So what I want to do, I just want to type in flowers or just a flower. And then you will have a lot of these designs. You know, there's a lot of these flowers that you can play with. You can just place these wherever and however you want. I'll just choose something like this. So let's just place it here. Actually, I don't like this watercolor. So I'll take something like this. Let's say I'll just place it here. Yeah, it already looks good. So yeah. It can work like this, I think. And maybe one more, but similar. Maybe, yeah, maybe the same one. But I'll just rotate it and maybe place it like this. All right, so I like it now. Even though I don't like this rough edge, I'll rotate it a bit more. So in the end, I can get something like this. Maybe I'll change the background color as well. You can click on the background and you can just click here to change the color, whatever you'd like. Let's try with gray or maybe this one. This one is surely going to appeal to some girls. Then the next part is going over to the text section here. Just type in add a heading and then just write the planner or maybe 2024 planner, whatever you want to do, or maybe you are making a just yearly planner or a weekly planner. I'll just put like 2024 now in the middle and maybe add one more where it says planner. I'll just reduce the size of this one. And of course, you can change the fonts and colors of text. Click on it, choose the color, whichever you'd like. And of course, fonts are here. I like this one, Eastman, grotesque, whatever that means. But of course, there's a lot of these. You can just play with them. Now I'll just increase the size of this one. Maybe not that much. And the size of this one. Okay, looks good for the cover. Let's move on. The next thing that you got to do is you just have to add another page. And this is going to be the home page of your planner. So this is going to be the cover. And this is going to be the home page. What do you want to do now? Click on the elements once more go over to the search bar and just search for rectangle. All right, we need to add this shape. So shape, I like this color because it matches this gradient. What do you want to do? Place it in the corner here and just reduce the width. Now click here on here on border style and just round these corners a bit. Yeah, just round them like 14, 15. It's going to be OK. And then just move them a little bit down until you see this little gap here. Now I'll just copy this one and paste it and then just move it down there. What do we want to create? We want to create those dividers, right? So here's how you can do this. Now you can just select both of these, copy them. And now we've got four. Now select all four of these and then just copy and paste them again and then just move down. And what I wanted to make is I wanted to make 13 of these. So I want one for each month in the year and I want one as a homepage. So now I'll select all of these. 
paste them once more and don't worry it's gonna go down there so let me just go and calculate how many of these i have now so so these four i don't need so i'll move these down there so whether it's like moved over the border down there or whether it is short i'll just add one more so whether it is like too long or too short you just select all of these and then you just space them out like this. Just be sure to leave the gaps, all right? Down there and up there and in between. Now add one more rectangle. We need one more rectangle, like this one. And then I just want to make this. Move it all the way up and all the way down. But you want this to match the color of this one, of this side, or whatever the background color is. And then just move this like this, okay? So yeah, it's gonna look like this, it's good. So there you have it. We have simulated those dividers, you know? And now what do you wanna do? You wanna add the homepage button on the first one, and then for each month and the year, you just wanna add text. So for the icon, I'll just type in home, type in home and go to the graphics here. And here's the home page. I'll reduce the size of it. You can change the color to white if you like it more, or you can just leave it at black, whatever you want. And in here, you just wanna add text. So add a little bit body of text and I'll type in Jan. So for January, rotate it of course, 90 degrees, put it in the middle here, and then just copy and paste all of these until you have all the months. So there you have it. You've got all of the months in the year. Now, what do we want to do? Well, I'll just reduce the size of this one first. It looks good, right? As I've told you, you can change the fonts, you can change the colors, but what is the main point here in order to make these dividers work, in order to have those hyperlinks, is that we have to connect each one of these dividers to corresponding page. So, what do we want to make first? Because this is the home page and it will correspond to this one, to the home page. Well, now we need to add 12 more pages and maybe one more for the extra notes or something. So go down there, click on add page, add one more, add one more until you get to the desired number of pages. And here you can see the grid view. So you've got all of these. You can name all of these, of course. You do it like this. So page two, it's going to be the home, right? Now, the next one is going to be the month of January. And then you do it for all of these other ones, right? Now is the time in order for these hyperlinks to work, we need to connect them. How do you do that? Click on this home first, right click on it. And then there's link, as you can see here. So link, and then just choose home because this is the button that's going to serve as a home page. Click on home, click on done button but you have to do it for this little rectangle here because sometimes people will misclick or something. Sometimes they will click on the home icon and sometimes they will click on this divider, right? So you gotta do it for that as well. So just same process, just right click on it, click on link and then just click on home, click done. And then of course do it for all of the other ones. So January, right click on it, scroll down, link, click on January because this is going to lead us there and then click done. The same thing for January divider, right? Click on it, click on link, click on January and you're done. All right. So that's how it works now. Now, whenever someone clicks on that, they will be redirected to the corresponding page, right? So that's hyperlinks. It's going to be very useful to people and to you as well, if you plan on to use it. So what do you want to do next? Well, just grab the interiors. You can design these yourself. There's like tables here. So just type in table, but you got to head over to these elements here and then type in table, not in the text like I did. And then there's a lot of these tables, which you can add on top of your interior. So you can just write your goals whatever you plan on making. In order to get some inspo, you can just head over to Etsy and see how other people are doing it. All right, so let's say this productivity planner, go and see what they have inside and then either make it yourself or you can just head over to these designs, right? And then there's a lot of these planners. So what do you wanna do? Take one, this is a good one, just put there, right? So this is what you gotta do. This is ultimate workout planner. And if you want to go with this one, this is for the month of January, let's say. So that's it. All you got to do now is to change the name of this one, right? Just put workout planner. And then if you plan on to make money with this, Etsy's traffic is going to take care of the rest. They're really popular. They're really, really popular online and people buy these. And yeah, they're lazy to do through all of these steps to create one for themselves. But then 
you can do it for them. And then you can charge, have a look at this, $10 for something like this. I created this like in, I don't know, maybe 10 to 12 minutes by showing you. And if you plan on to do this like on a regular basis, you can just finish this in under 10 minutes, all right? And the beauty of this is that you make it once and then you can sell it infinitely, right? It's a digital product. It's gonna stay on Etsy forever. So you don't have to come back to it. The last thing that you gotta do, click on the share button, click on the download button, and then just choose PDF standard here, all right? So this is gonna be the best. That's it. Wish you good luck and happy planning.